Okay, what I've got here is my Dodge, 1995 Dodge Dakota pickup truck. The windshield wipers quit working and the motor still worked. So what we got is I replaced it with a connection, these little fittings right here. It was the plastic piece was broken. But you have to take apart the rest of this up here. Take this out, the windshield wipers out to get in and fix it. So so far I've taken out one windshield wiper blade uh, arm and it's a pain in the ass. There's no way around it. It's you I use pliers and a screwdriver and I hope I didn't tear it up. So I'm gonna work on getting the second one out. Then I'll have to take out all these screws to get in there. I can put the motor back in, connect the piece, put it all back together. So let's see what happens here. Okay, now I've got both wiper blades off, the arms. What I had to do was I had to pry a little piece off on the back, and there's like a piece that slides out. Let me show you. Okay, here's a little piece that slides out, like a clip. And now on here was a little thing on the back of it. I had to pry out the screwdriver out. When I broke that loose, I was able to pull this out. For that, I yanked and yanked and yanked and could not get it out. So you might try that. I might end up screwing myself on it. I don't know, but we're going to see what happens with it. Okay, so I had to take off this big-ass piece that goes up here in front of your truck and you ask why do I got to do that well I'll tell you why because inside of here get up where you can see it it's a little arm that's the arm that goes to our motor in there you can't get to it any other way to attach to this piece so you gotta tear all this stuff out you gotta take the wiper blades off and Pull this out, and there's going to be lines attached for the windshield washer fluid. Um, like I said, these are a bear to get out because there's a clip that doesn't want to come out. You got screws on the inside of this track that you need to take out. There's one at the very top on the outside that you need to get out. And then you need to get a, like a screwdriver and you need to pry on it a little bit. So. Now I'm going to attempt to uh, hook everything back up here and get it all back together. So the most important part though is you need to understand that you need to have a tall boy at least to do this. I'm already several tall boys into this project, but uh, if you want to do it right, get it fixed, here you go. Okay, down here is the plastic piece. To get it on, you're not going to press that in by hand. Grab yourself a pair of pliers, reach in there, and just push it down on there. You'll get it. Now the rest of it is just putting everything back together. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so here's the big problem that you're going to have. And I just realized it before I did it. I have no idea where this is in relationship to being on or off. Is it halfway up? Is it all the way down? Is it all the way to the top? I have no idea. So if I put this on in the down position, it's not going to be right. So I need to go inside the truck, turn the wipers on, and get to the, so they'll come to the down position before I put it on here. Because if not, I'm going to have them way off. We don't want to do that. Okay. Do this at your own your own risk. I cannot freaking get these pieces back in. These are hammered on. They're not going anywhere. I don't know if I really even need those in there, so I'm not putting them back on. But it works fine. Washers are working good. So uh, I don't even know how to get them back in there. There you go. So that's how you uh, change the. Uh, the bushings, linky bushings on a uh, Dodge Dakota 1995. Oh yeah, look at that baby. Yeah, there you go.